Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of Listing Sample Application video series. My name is Leonardo and I work as a solution architect at Amazon. In this video, I will explain how the book listing workflow in the SPAPI Listing Sample application works. You can locate the source code for the SPAPI Listing Sample application inside the Selling Partner API Samples GitHub repo. Let us access the home page of the app through the local host. Right. Click the book listing button to access the book listing workflow. This workflow facilitates the submission of multiple listings to Amazon through the JSON listings feed. This workflow works the same for both the sellers and vendors. For now, this workflow supports only the JSON listings feed, so this dropdown is in disabled state. Click the choose file button to choose a JSON listings feed file. Only files less than 200 kilobytes are allowed. The app displays an error if you choose a file more than 200 kilobytes. The files must have the JSON extension. The app displays an error if you choose a non-JSON file. The app previews the chosen file content in the text field. You can edit the file inside the app if you want. Then, click the submit button to submit the feed to Amazon. Once the feed creation is successful, the app shows the reference ID of the feed. The debug console at the bottom of every workflow shows the details of all the SPAPI calls made in that page. The debug console shows the raw SPAPI request payloads, response payloads, and errors from the SPAPI. Let us go to the debug console to inspect the SPAPI requests and responses. The app first uses the create feed document SPAPI to upload the feed content. The request for the Create Feed Document API specifies the JSON as the feed content type. The response of the Create Feed Document API returns a URL for uploading the feed contents. The app uses the Create Feed SP API to submit the feed for processing. The request for the Create Feed API specifies the JSON listings feed as the feed type and the feed document ID from the Create Feed Document API. The response from the Create Feed API contains the reference ID of the feed. You can monitor the status of the feed submission using the Past Submitted Feeds button. Click this button to view the details of the past submitted feeds. The app makes a call to the Get Feeds SP API and shows only few recent feeds here. When the feed processing is incomplete, the Download Processing Report button is in disabled state. So, you have to wait for the feeds to be in down state in order to download the processing report. Click this button to download the processing report. The app uses the Get Feed Document SP API for this functionality. The app appends the reference ID to the downloaded file for the easier file organization. Let us go to the debug console to view the SP API calls which are made so far. The debug console shows the Get Feed and Get Feed Document SP API requests and responses. The request for the Get Feeds APIs specify the JSON listings feeds as one of the future, so only the JSON listings feeds are shown in this UI. The page size is restricted to 20, so only the 20 recent feeds are shown in the UI. The response for the Get Feeds API contains the detail of the feed submissions along with the result feed document ID. The result feed document ID is used to download the feed processing report. The request for the get feed document SP API contains the document ID of the result feed document. The response of the get feed document API contains URL to download the feed processing report. The app uses this URL to download the report and save the report as a file. Congratulations! Now you are ready to experiment with the book listings workflow. This is all I had for you today. Hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more SPAPI videos. In our next episode, we will walk you through how the delete listings workflow in the SPAPI listings sample application works. Happy coding from all of us at the Amazon Selling Partner API team and thanks for watching.